Less than two months from the release of Avengers Endgame, we've still had no Hulk sightings. Until the movie arrives in theaters, there's no way to know for sure, but for now, here's a look at some of the most likely reasons you haven't seen Hulk in the Avengers Endgame trailers. If the body count of Avengers Endgame is anything like what we saw in Avengers Infinity War, then there's good reason to assume the Hulk might not survive the latest Avengers adventure. In fact, you could argue that he has less chance of surviving Endgame than most. We haven't heard a lot about whether Mark Ruffalo plans to keep playing the character after this movie, but we're pretty sure Marvel won't be pursuing any solo Hulk films anytime soon. Additionally, Endgame marks the end of the Hulk trilogy that Ruffalo discussed with MCU boss Kevin Feige that began with Thor Ragnarok. So if there's a time for the Hulk to take a final bow, now seems pretty appropriate. If directors Joe and Anthony Russo were to kill the Hulk, doing it early in the fight might accomplish the same thing Hulk's beating at the hands of Thanos did in Infinity War. Having Thanos defeat the Avengers' toughest muscle man in the first few minutes of the film let audiences know what kind of threat the heroes were facing. The stakes are likely to be raised in Endgame, and it may be that the filmmakers decided the only thing more effective than having Thanos KO the Hulk in the first few minutes would be to have Thanos take Hulk out permanently. If that's the case, there might not actually be much Endgame footage that wouldn't spoil the hero's death, hence his absence from the trailers. But if we're being totally honest, that doesn't seem too likely compared with some of the other possible reasons we've come up with. While green is the color most often associated with the Hulk, over the years we've seen that green and gamma rays don't always go hand in hand. The Hulk was gray in his first 1962 comic book appearance, and in the late 80s that version of the Hulk made a successful return. In 2008, the same year Marvel Studios released the first two MCU films, Iron Man and Incredible Hulk, Marvel Comics introduced the world to the Red Hulk, a more villainous Hulk with bright red skin. So while it ain't easy being green, it may be even harder for the Hulk to stay green. It's possible that the reason Marvel Studios has held back footage of the big guy from the Avengers Endgame trailers is that they plan to premiere one of these non-green Hulks in Endgame and don't want to spoil the reveal. Of course, images snapped of the forthcoming batch of Endgame action figures have already revealed a green-colored Hulk. So let's put this particular theory down as similarly unlikely. In terms of the Hulk's appearance, Disney was a little mean to us when they released the Avengers Infinity War trailers. Shots in the trailer clearly showed the Hulk alongside Captain America, Bucky, the Falcon, and other heroes charging Thanos' army in the Battle of Wakanda. That, of course, never actually happened. Sure, Bruce Banner got to take a pretty awesome joyride in the Hulkbuster armor, but there wasn't much genuine Hulk smashing in Avengers Infinity War. It may be that the Hulk isn't in the Endgame trailers because the Russos may be trying to manage fan expectations. Who knows how much Hulk will get? By keeping him out of the trailers, Marvel Studios may be ensuring that this question remains as unanswered as possible, so that if he shows up at all, we'll all stand up and cheer our faces off. Sort of like this. One of the most beloved moments of 2012's Avengers film was this classic line from Bruce Banner. I'm always angry. It was a huge, crowd-pleasing moment, and it officially brought the team together after two hours of bickering. While the green guy hadn't been in the movie much before that moment, after that classic line, he stole the show. There was this moment. And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. And this moment. And of course, the best moment of quite possibly any movie ever made. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. And part of what made all those moments so successful was the relative lack of Hulk in the rest of the movie. Chances are good the Russos are building up to a new version of the I'm always angry line. Maybe they plan to redeem the Hulk's absence and thrashing in Infinity War by giving the green guy the same kind of memorable moment he enjoyed in Avengers. In the meantime, maybe they're hoping the Hulk's absence from the marketing will make our hearts grow fonder and our cheers that much louder. <laughs> 
Of course, there's one more possible reason we may not have seen the Hulk, and it's all the Fresh Prince's fault. Not too long ago, Disney released footage of Will Smith as Aladdin's blue-skinned genie. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing a bell. The online responses were less than ideal. So could Marvel Studios, a subsidiary of Disney, be holding the big green Hulk back because they're still feeling burned about going blue? I feel like a idiot. Could Marvel really truly be worried about their special effects in the biggest movie they've ever released suddenly not looking up to snuff? I'm kidding. Watch this. Nah. If there's one thing we know for sure by now, it's that Marvel Studios knows exactly when to Hulk out, and how keeping the Hulk hidden can actually make the biggest impact. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Avengers Endgame are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.